basically, you have the outer mind, which goes around in circles. You have the inner mind, which likes to go up and down, in and out. And you have the higher mind, which maintains a constant state of the overall perspective. The outer mind doesn't really pay too much attention to what it's doing. It's just action-reaction. Um, with the outer mind, we get the need for hindsight. Because oftentimes we'll do something and we'll think back on it and go, why did I do that? What was that all about? What was that really all about? Hindsight is a way for us to understand and to absorb lessons. The inner mind, we get insight. Insight lets us see deeper into an action, um, a response, something that we said or something that we heard or something that we experienced on some level. Insight is about taking time now to look into something. With the higher mind, we've got foresight. We can see things coming before they happen. Insight, it's not until after we're in the middle of something. Hindsight, it isn't until long after. Okay, Maybe a day or two, maybe a moment or two, maybe 10 years from that moment, we look back and go, hmm, okay, now I understand. But with the outer mind, we have to go through the experience of the action and then to take time with the inner mind to think about it and go, okay, let me backtrack. Let me see what I did. Step one, step two, step three, and then the result. And it's like, okay, now I get it. With insight, the inner mind, we tend to get trapped because we think too much about what it was, what it could have been, what it should have been, what it might have been. Uh, what it was meant to be and so we get this this circle of thought and we try to rationalize and um, well we get stuck in beliefs we can believe something happened a certain way or we assume okay so we get stuck between one of these two things. We make an assumption or we believe something. Uh, and we rationalize it. That's how we validate our actions. Like, oh, I did this because, you know, or it must have been because of this or because of that. And as you can see, it gets really complicated. It looks complicated, and that's because it is complicated. The beauty of the higher mind is when we take a step up, like a pyramid, we take a step up, we get that perspective and go, okay, what was it really? We ask, okay, we question. Rather than trying to think our way through the problem, we ask our way through the problem. And this is where we come in with breathing, breathing in, breathing out. We breathe out the question and then breathe in the next layer of understanding until the question dissolves, until the question is no longer on our mind. If it's on your mind, it's in your way. Breathe through it, filter it until it's complete and you get the understanding. And this is what we're really looking for. We're looking for understanding. That's what it's really all about, to understand. Okay. Understand, think, act. Here's the action, here's the thought that makes us think we've got the, the understanding. But the understanding comes without any pretense. It comes without any, any kind of explanation. It just is. And that's when we have that, oh, I get it. Okay. So that's the three minds. And we can choose to have the hindsight and live by that as a form of learning. Or we can have insight 
we can try to catch it before it's too late, or we can have foresight to look ahead and to listen. And to look ahead in terms of asking, where is this taking me? Where am I going with it? What is this person's intentions? And just staying with a question and dissolving the self into that question until the question itself dissolves. And here's, that's the three minds.